Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Connolly with Scratch Golf Tips, and today we're looking at the golf swing of Patrick Cantlay. Cantlay has been ranked top 10 in the world for a while. He's gotten really high up in those rankings. Eight PGA Tour wins, obviously the most notable one, the 2021 Tour Championship. And uh, talk about a, a swing that you can learn from. There's so much to learn from the current swing of Patrick Cantlay. So let's talk about the golf swing of Patrick Cantlay. First off, looking at a down the line view, Cantlay has a decent amount of upper body extension. It isn't a very long swing, especially compared to some of the other guys who seem to be crazily flexible and strong on tour. It's a fairly uh, short swing comparatively, and the lower body also stays quiet. I think one of Cantlay's biggest friends in his swing is the rhythm, and he's been on record as to saying the thing that he thinks about the most in his golf swing is the rhythm. Cantlay's swing seems to be entirely unhurried. He doesn't have a very fast takeaway at all. And even through transition, it doesn't look like he's trying too hard to really crush that ball through impact. Now, a main reason that this is, is because Patrick Cantlay had a very severe back injury a few years back, and he actually had to get surgery. And at one point, doctors weren't even optimistic that he could play golf again. So the swing that you see today is a result of someone who used to have a very bad back and now has a surgically repaired back. And a big reason that he had that surgery was because he had such an intense motion through the ball. And you, you see guys on tour right now, like Will Zalatoris or Joaquin Neiman, who have a really exact exaggerated spine angle through impact and it, it, it's very likely to negatively affect these guys. Joaquin Neiman has remained healthy. Will Zalatoris on the other hand actually already underwent surgery and will be out for the rest of this season. So having that really jerky move through impact is never good for the health. So what Canley did was he had a very a fairly standard backswing but had a more fluid motion through impact and the way that he creates this speed and the distance that he has is through that fluidity and that rhythm, the unrushed tempo of the golf swing. Now, obviously you don't need a crazy move at the ball to gain power in the golf swing. If you're making solid contact with the ball and you have decent clubs, you're gonna get the ball pretty far out there. Uh, another thing that you can work on is hitting a draw ball flight, which Cantlay doesn't really have a predominant ball flight. He's pretty good at shaping either way. Uh, but you can also gain more flexibility and strength in the gym, you know, do work off the course in order to gain some of that strength. Another thing that we can see in the down the line angle that I really like is how wide Cantlay's takeaway is, especially with driver. That wideness of the takeaway and the low sweeping takeaway is almost slice proof in its nature. If you're not rushed in your takeaway and you have a nice wide move, it can really be conducive to shallowing out the club. So if anyone at home is struggling, uh, you know, you're hitting a slice, you're hitting big fades off the tee, one great way that you can work away from that is by mimicking this takeaway from Cantlay. See how low it is to the ground? Some people call it a dew sweeper. It stays on the ground and it's wide. And then once he comes up with that shoulder rotation, he can drop that trail arm, drop that right arm into the slot through transition. And it's gonna be very uh, conducive to hitting a nice draw ball flight. So that's a great thing to take away from Cantlay swing. The nature of the swing itself is very on plane. It's a it's a it's a very neutral golf swing. It's it's probably one of the least flashy golf swings that we have on the PGA Tour. It certainly has offered results, as I said earlier. But uh, having these neutral golf swings allow for so much consistency in the ball striking, and that really makes it easy for someone like Patrick Cantlay with such a neutral golf swing to focus on shaping the golf ball, changing trajectory, tra changing shot shapes. It's something that. Cantlay is actually sneakily very good at. Many people who follow golf don't think of Patrick Cantlay as a guy who has a bunch of different shots in his bag, but he does because the low point control in such a standard golf swing uh, like Cantlay has, that ability to control the low point has really allowed him to excel in hitting low shots, in hitting shots that are very high and spin back. So having that neutral plane can really make you a versatile player with a lot of weapons on the course. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the golf swing of Patrick Cantlay. There's always things that the viewers see that I don't, and uh, you may have different opinions on things that I've brought up. I'd love to hear them down in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating. It helps YouTube show this content to more people who will find it helpful. It also helps me see what type of content you are all enjoying so that I can cater future uploads to what you all want to see. Feel free to subscribe to the Scratch Golf Tips YouTube channel. We're posting two to three times a week and we've seen some nice growth on the channel. So we're very happy to have the support of all of the viewers. And obviously it's a privilege to get content like this out there to help everyone become more confident on the golf course. So if you appreciate the journey, feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you are notified whenever a new video comes out. Thank you all very much for watching. Play well and take care.